In this video, we are going to tell you what most fitness professionals aren't telling you about supplementation. They're fucking lying. We are Dan and Mike, and this is 5 Minute Fitness, where we try to cram in as much training and nutrition information Ooh, into fit. just five minutes. That is a tight fit. For you. Isn't so it? if you like that sort of stuff, don't forget to hit subscribe. We do loads of other videos. We do vlogs. We do spoof documentaries. We do behind the scenes videos, and we do what he does, eating challenges. Supplementation. Supplements, one of the biggest industries in health and fitness going. God knows why, because it's fucking pointless. It's bottom of the list. Like, it, should, it should be bottom of the list. Mm -hmm. But yeah, any fitness professional mm -hmm. that you'll use see that, on Instagram, mm -hmm. YouTube, use that term lightly. what's one of the biggest things that they talk about? And again, we're guilty of it now, but we're gonna slag it the fuck off. There are very few supplements that we would actually recommend wholeheartedly, and they aren't even actually ones that are pushed for performance. Fat burners. Yeah, obviously. Of course, yeah. Fat burners. Use our code. Yeah. Dan and Mike 35. Yeah. Yeah, fat burners one. Fat burners one, they work. And test boosters, they, they, they work. You just have to get them in a syringe with a needle. So <laughs> what supplements do work then? In fact, no, not supplements, supplementation. Because yeah. you've got to say the longest version of the word that you're trying to say. Mm. What supplementation should we be looking to consume <laughs> so that we can assimilate properly for hypertrophy? So there are a few supplements that you should be looking at taking. That is omega-3. That is one. Vitamin D is another. Creatine is a performance-based one that's to work time and time again. Caffeine is another one that actually has benefits above just taking a coffee. You have to have more than that. Other than that, there's not a huge amount that I would be recommending to you right now. Maybe a multivitamin is a yep. backup, like as a backup. If you don't get a lot of fruit and veg, if you're dieting potentially, like you might not, you might be slightly more deficient because yep. your variety of food has to diminish. So maybe a back, like an insurance policy. Yep. And the other one that we don't mind people using, particularly if you feel if you feel that like you like one, is a pre-workout. Pre if you can afford one, you like a pre-workout that's based around citrulline malate, um, and again, might have caffeine. creatine, caffeine, um, and maybe b in. Like, that's kind of like okay to take, but only if you have the money to spend it and you like the, the kick of having a pre-workout. But no, that really, it is just a bit of a, I'll take this drink, I think we'll have a great workout. It's feel not, a bit of a it's not, it's not really gonna make much difference. No. Like, nobody's had a, like, hand on heart, if you've ever had a pre-workout and you've felt such a noticeable difference, like, <sighs> No, the, you you, you have it's, it's mm. gonna be placebo, like it ha, it, it, it's yeah. going to be. Like nothing makes that much difference. It, it really if it does, doesn't. It's illegal. If it does, yeah. that's the problem. Like, it, it really doesn't. But pre workouts is a massive thing that people push because it is an attractive thing to take. Like yeah. it's like, oh, I'm gonna take this. Turn it to the Hulk. It tastes a little bit, it's always a little bit weird tasting, like a bit tart, bit sour. You know, sour yeah. you, like, and it's a nice routine to get yourself into. I have my pre workout, then I go and train. Yeah. And yeah, you might get a better pump mm. or whatever, but it doesn't necessarily correlate to better results results in the gym. Like just do the other thing about pre workout Certainly, well. certainly by skipping your pre-workout does not mean that you're going to have so you can work negatively. Yeah. But some sometimes you don't have a pre-workout. You're setting yourself up for yeah. a bad workout because you have not had my pre-workout. Yeah you have that issue with that habit based thing of yeah. I'm not going to train as hard. But the other thing with pre-workout is do not take it just before you step foot into yeah. the gym because it takes Or in the gym. Takes, See people drinking it in the gym. Yeah, in the, the counter gym. at the counter in the gym. I go to my in gym at the counter. Can I have that pre-workout please? Yeah. I'm gonna train what for an hour? So what the last 15 minutes you want it for? Last yeah. last 15 I tell minutes. I'll tell you what I'll be on the drive home then. <laughs> yeah, great. Brilliant. pre workouts you take them 45 minutes before you train. So remember that one. All these other things, we get questions all the time about supplements. When should you take them? What time of day do I take them? Whenever. Take them whenever it's easier for you to build a habit of taking supplements, whether it's before bed, whether it's first thing in the morning. Mm. doesn't make a huge difference. Like guys, you're creating. You don't need to take it before or after the gym. Take it whenever. Yeah. Just be consistent. Take it at a time you know you can take it. But other than those, like if we haven't mentioned that, don't ask us, what about this one? Well, everything you see pushed is by people who are looking for either 0.1% gain, 0.1% gain. Like a max. Yeah, pointless. Ridiculous. Like, unless you've got your protein and calories on point and you're training really, really hard. CBD oil. That's definitely a waste of time. Like, definitely. Doesn't do anything. So there you go. Like, don't worry about all these other supplements. Focus on those ones. It's boring, yes. We've got no financial interest in any other supplements. We're telling you not to you buy them. it. We're recommending you don't buy them. Like, we have no gain to have. Like, whereas yeah. those people telling you to take supplements, they've got a, a gain in getting you to yeah. take them. Mm, I wonder who's telling the truth then. So if you like that video and that no bullshit approach to things, then please do hit subscribe. All our videos are that way inclined. Give us a thumbs up. Smash that button. That, that means button, like. That, one. that means like. Like that. 